Hello and welcome to a special on one of the most beautiful and talented film stars from India. The Indian film world is conscious of pressures for change, but they continue to be outbalanced by forces for the status quo. The main reason being, theatres are crowded. No other medium matches film in its hold on wide audiences. And film stars are idolised throughout the world. They are the main obsession of cinema devotees. One such star is Rekha, whose name has become synonymous with beauty. Even women, it is said, can't help but love this outspoken, very talented film star who has become a phenomenon among female stars. Chandrasekhar interviewed her when she last visited Canada. We are delighted to open the show today with a very, very distinguished guest from the art community, I should say, of international stature. None other than one of the most beautiful girls from Indian subcontinent and one of the most talented film actresses from the Indian subcontinent, your favorite, Rekha. Let's give Rekha a very warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Rekha, it's really, really good to see you again. And needless to say, you're just looking absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. So are you. You're looking good. Very good yourself. Thank you so much. Rekha, the last time I met you in Bombay, you said something, and I wasn't really sure whether you really meant what you said. And you have proved it. You told me at that time, you said, uh, Shan, you know, I'm planning on really doing a live show within the next couple of years, mm -hmm. and I want to coach your word. You said, uh, but when I do something like that, I want this to be very unique, and I'm going to put my heart and soul into it, and I understand you've done it. Tell us about your live shows. Well, I've been planning for about three years now, and like I told you before, I didn't want to do it then because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't very sure of what exactly I was wanting to do. But now, I thought it was the right time, and I'm here. We've been preparing a lot, and we've been very excited, and, and very excited and thrilled. I'm looking forward to going down to USA and uh, London. We have a couple of shows in London as well. You know, your shows have been the talk of the town. People have been expecting your shows in each major city, I'm pretty sure, and everybody has been anxiously I waiting. know, I know. A lot of people have been calling me up in Bombay, and a lot of friends from New York, and my sister lives in San Francisco, and. She's been calling me and her friends have been calling me. They're so excited. They just want to see me, you know, just, just want to see me. First time I'm coming to the um, uh, United States of America and Canada. This is my first trip to Canada, incidentally. Oh, tremendous. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to give you a very warm welcome. I hope Canada has treated you very well from the time I, you You can here. say that again. Oh, yes, they've been very nice. It's a beautiful city, Toronto. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm it's sure Torontonians city. will be proud and honored to have you in Toronto, mm -hmm. walking through the downtown streets of Toronto. Yes, I went to this street called Cumberland Street. Oh, yes, right. Super street. Just my kind of a place. There are some lovely boutiques there. Yeah, and this lovely cafe called Bel Air Cafe. Oh, yes. Oh, uh -huh. Very nice. So it looks beautiful by night. And the young street and the works. It's very nice. Excellent. Very nice. Rekha, tell us, you know, it requires a lot of guts for any film star to really come live on stage and perform. What kind of preparation Guts. and psychological preparation did you need, you know, to sort of uh, uh, launch on a project like this? I'll tell you. Yes, you're right, it needs a lot of guts, but it does not, it's not that bad when you know that your fans really love you so much. You know, it's their, um, their feelings towards me, it's their love. I know, I know how much they love me. That gives you a lot of strength and inspiration and gives you a lot of confidence. And that just answers all the questions, you know. When you know that they love you, and they want you, then all your questions are answered. You need nothing else. What is it really physically to perform in front of uh, 10,000 people or 15,000 people as compared to you're doing a motion picture wherein you're in a confined environment? I'll tell you something. I could never imagine myself in front of the stage, you know, on, with the live audience. I could never imagine that because I, for one, I'm a very shy person. People have this impression that I'm a very, you know, bubbly, you know, full of life and she's bindas, like we said back home. But I'm not really that. I'm very, very shy person. So uh, for me to come on stage and to face live audience is something because I have absolutely no stage experience. I've never been on stage ever since I was a kid. No dramas, no um, uh, Hindi plays or no English plays, nothing of that sort. Absolutely. Even when I have to go up to the stage and pick up my award, I'm so shy. It's not funny, you know. But then, like I told you, because I know the kind of uh, uh, the feelings that my fans have for me. So it's whether it's um, 10 people 
out there on the in the audience or whether it's 10,000 people doesn't make a difference to me. For me, it's one the same thing. Excellent. On the film front, what are some of the exciting ventures that you're working on at the present time? And uh, Pyar Ki Jeet is, you know, love. Yeah, of course. Wins the victory of love or whatever. Excellent. Rekha, tell me, you know, when I was talking to you recently, you felt that you have changed. In what way have you changed in the recent past, in the, in the last few years? Sure, I've changed. I've changed a lot. Do, don't we all change? In my case, I think I've changed for the better. What were the characteristics in you that you feel that you had to consciously make a change? Like, uh, I could never imagine uh, performing live, for uh -huh. instance. Like, you know, one always changes, but I've changed for the better, like I said. If you would ask me to perform five years ago, I would probably shy out and say, no, 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 not me. This is just not for me. But today, I've, I feel now is the time. I must go out there and meet the fans. All these years, you know, they've been watching me on television and you know, on the screen, and they've been really looking forward to seeing me live. And here is one opportunity I had, and I'm actually here, and I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. I probably not believe it going back home. You know, I go back home, and I said, did I really go out there and perform? And, but then I'm glad I'm doing it, and I'm really happy. Rekha, I'm going to come to another uh, important aspect of your life. In the last few years, I understand, um, you took to yoga very seriously, mm -hmm. and it is now very well known throughout the world. You know, your yoga tapes are very popular all over the world. Mm -hmm. And throughout India, you know, uh, the younger generation has really been to look up to you because of what you're showing, you know, that you've started a new path and a lot of people are following you. What is this fascination towards yoga? What made you go towards yoga? You know, a lot of people think that yoga is just to cool your mind and uh, to f it's for peace of mind and things like that. It's not true. It's, yoga is really the, the permanent and that's, it's the best way to lose weight and keep it that way. Because it trims your body, it tones up your body, you know. It's not just a weight loss program or anything. It, to do yoga perfectly, you need a hell of a concentration and you really need to concentrate on each asana. And to concentrate on one thing needs a lot of, you know, you have to really be very cool. You have to concentrate on just one thing. You can't think of something else. If you think about something else, then you can't go into the right asana, you know. So um, people think, oh, only frustrated people go into yoga or disillusioned people go into yoga, you know. They want a peace of mind. That's not true. I did it because, okay, it just happened to me. I never knew what um, it's going to do so much good to me. I never knew it. But when I went into it, and I did it for a couple of years, and the change that I went through was incredible. It was fantastic, and I, w I intend to stick to it for the rest of my life. Is there any special type of yoga that you practice? Well, mine is just a simple yoga. It's basics, you know. I have a couple of tapes, uh, number one and number two. Uh, they're very simple asanas. It's about 20, 25 minutes a day. That's it. It's very, very nice. It's very effective. Is that one of the secrets of uh, your uh you know, keeping yourself in such excellent shape, you know, excellent physically. Excellent shape. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I think it's not only yoga. It's, uh, you know, main thing is you have to sweat it out. Yeah. You have to really sweat it out. And, of course, you have to watch what you're eating. And I think you have to, basically, it's your attitude towards life. If you have a, a pure, um, pleasant and um, non-polluted attitude in your life, then I think it's bound to reflect on your personality and your face. Tremendous. Rekha is said to be very sympathetic, good-hearted and generous, with a talent for creativity and a love for art, music, literature and nature. She is also said to be very passionate and emotional. I'm not a kind of a person who has any malice, who, who's conniving or we can wish bad for others. Or, I'm just a very straightforward person who wishes well for everybody else. At least I wish better for them to, um, to happen to them than myself. I want to be able to be of some good to others than myself. I know this sounds like bragging, but then it's true, you know, it's really true. If I could make somebody else look prettier than me, or if I could make what I feel inside me reflect upon them, I would feel I've done a great job. I believe that because, you know, I've heard you pay compliments, in fact, in India when I was there, which I must really admire and uh, tell the audience that um, you have paid tribute to other artists and you have encouraged other artists and uh, you still keep doing it, which is a very, very nice gesture. Not only you know. artists, you know, it's, if there's any, any girl on, on the road, if uh, she's beautiful or if she has some quality about her, I'll actually stop the car and, you know, pay her a compliment. 
Well, that's of course, she's going to go, ah, she's Rebecca actually paid me a compliment. But then at that moment, I forget who I am. It's the, the person inside me which comes out, you know. That's it's just me. It's just me. I'm crazy, but that's how I am. Do you get hurt easily? I used to, not anymore. Do you consider yourself sensitive? Very. But then I don't get hurt easily now. I am very sensitive. How, where do you draw the line? How did you manage to master that, where if you're sensitive but you don't get hurt? Um, well, I do get hurt. The difference lies in that if somebody hurts me, I do get hurt, but I don't let it affect me. Oh, that's tremendous. As a person. Yes. Signs of maturity, maybe. Mm, yes. Wisdom? Actually, no. I've reached Nirvan. Oh, Nirvan, <laughs> you know what I see. Means. Really, I do see a change in you. You know, I've known you for a number of years. Yeah. And in the last couple of visits that I did come there, you know, and, and you're right, it's a, you know, it's a very nice change for the better. Yes. You were always good, but you were getting better, I guess. Hopefully, I, if I see you after a couple of years, I'll be even better. <laughs> Is that right? Please click on the subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be updated with all our content.